Hello and welcome to Taking AFU News. My name is Tom and we are reviewing books. And the one I'm looking at today is Tanks of the Second World War by Thomas Anderson. Uh, this one is by Pen and Sword Publishing. It was sent to me by uh, the fine folks at Casemate. And this one is one that, frankly, I almost passed on asking for. I'm not a huge fan at this point of the sort of general you know, Tanks of the World or Tanks of World War II or whatever. But this one, because it is Thomas Anderson, and he is uh, has written quite a few books, very detailed books, um, on specific types of German World War II armor, I thought it would be worth a look, because I wanted to see what he did with it. So, you know, it was, it was clear to me that this was not one of those books where they just find somebody, sort of a general military history writer, and have them write a coffee table book that's going to have a bunch of pictures of, of World War II tanks and then it just sort of ends up in the discount section of Barnes and Noble. So I thought, okay, well, it's probably going to be better than that. And it is. And I actually, I was looking through this one this afternoon. I got this in the mail earlier today. And, um, there's a, it's, it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty fun read. Obviously I'm fairly knowledgeable on the tanks of World War II in the general sense. So I wasn't expecting to learn a whole lot from this. Um, somebody not familiar with the title might, might be a good starting point. Um, but for those that have more experience with the topic, um, it's still quite enjoyable to look through. Um, and partly because it's got a lot, it's primarily a photo book, and I did not recognize very many photos. I, it seems like Mr. Anderson has done a very good job of compiling uh, f photos that are not only new, but are, are quite interesting in and of themselves. So. Uh, this one is, like I said, he's a German author. This one's translated by Jeffrey Brooks. And starts off with acknowledgments and pre-standard table of contents. And like I said, there is a bit of text, particularly in the beginning, kind of explaining the background of, you know, why and where tanks were developed and talks a little bit about their role during the war you know just some fairly basic information like I said this is it's not really a coffee table book so it's not really that format but it's kind of a you know general introduction to the topic flip through here a little bit a little bit on some of the World War one stuff so people have the appropriate background interwar period always fun to see some Marmon Harrington tanks. Uh, certainly the worst tanks produced in the United States in that time period. Here he goes through, and like I say, it's, uh, you know, the amount of information you're going to get on individual tanks is pretty much going to be limited to a, a description and then sort of a simple data sheet. That kind of, like I said, part of the reason these kinds of books I generally stay away from is because this information, you know, nowadays in the internet age is so easy to find that these kind of books aren't quite as valuable as they used to be. You know, certainly when I was a kid, I liked them. Um, so for me personally, I think the strongest part of this book is the photos. Uh, so, and looking through, and, you know, particularly, these, you know, because I've looked at a, not a lot of 1940s French uh, tank photos doing my series, and these are some that I have not seen. So that's always nice. Um... Some that I have. It's a early Christie design, so here we get into the United States stuff. Uh, it's all black and white, no color, but the the photo, the paper is fairly glossy and nice. So yeah, it's a fairly long book, so we're going to skip ahead a little bit so the review doesn't get super long, because I think you get the general idea. You know, Italian tanks, uh, and it just sort of goes from there. So it is. essentially an encyclopedia of tanks and it is all photos it is not illustrations you know it's a lot of times these encyclopedia a little card a lot of times the publisher the, these kind of books will have um, a lot of uh, paintings especially the older ones from when I was a kid but this one is all photos which is kind of nice actually Yeah, 
and just keep flipping through, give people an idea. I really don't have a whole lot to say. So some of the U.S. stuff. Anyway, should give people so here ends of the that was the Pacific, and then it's got this little chapter at the end, which is sort of looking at post-war tank design a little bit. So the stuff that came out sort of as the result of lessons learned during the war. So the immediate, I'd say, first generation of post-war tanks. So M48, M47, T55. Um, even gets, I think, a little bit into the second generation of post-war tanks with so the MX30 here and the Leopard 1. And that pretty much wraps it up. And of course this kind of... I think this photo of the Lee we've all seen before, but it's a good one of it at speed, finishes the book out, and that's it. So uh, that's what you get for, let's see, uh, $24.95 US and $18.99 in Great Britain. Um, what did I say page count was? Like I said, they don't give me cheat sheets anymore. Uh, 220 about, it looks like. So, uh, you know, for high quality paper, 220 pages, uh, 25 bucks is not bad. So if you are looking for a gift for someone who's looking for an introduction to the topic or just lots of nice pictures to look at for tanks, uh, you could probably do a lot worse than this one. So, again, Tanks of the Second World War by Thomas Anderson from Pen and Sword Publishing. All right, thank you, and we'll catch you on the next one.